Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. Alright, this lesson is going to be called uh, We Are Our Brother's Keeper. Alright, and, you know, it's just going into, uh, you know, brotherly love, you know, uh, and keeping brothers in check. And uh, not being like Cain. <laughs> Alright, and that's what I'm going to start off reading. This is uh, Genesis 4. Um, I'll start at 8. Because we know, you know, Cain and Abel, they brought forth their uh, uh, their sacrifice, you know, their first fruits, so to speak. And, uh, you know, their offering, you know, to, to the Lord. And, you know, Abel, he, he respected and Cain, he didn't. And, uh, you know, and then picking up at verse 8, it says, And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him because he was jealous. Uh, <laughs> even though it was his own doing, you know, he, still, he was jealous that Abel was better than him. <laughs> um, in verse 9, it says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And, you know, after he killed him, he said, Am I my brother's keeper? Which shows who in spirit he came back as Esau Edom. But that's a different topic. Um, you know, this is just, you know, where, where I get the, you know, uh, idea of, of uh, you know, this, this lesson. Yeah, we are our brother's uh, keeper. All right. Um. What is it? Proverbs um, 27, like 17. Yeah, this is the chapter. This is uh, Proverbs 27 and uh, 5. It says, Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Then, as you can see, the kisses of an enemy are deceitful because, you know, Cain <laughs> was, you know, starting off a conversation with Abel, you know, showing him that, that feel-good, romantic love, if you will. And it came to pass when they were in the field, <laughs> so he got them, you know, out in the field away from, you know, everybody. And it says that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. So that's how, you know, uh, uh, uh. Uh, kisses of of, uh, of an enemy are are uh, are are deceitful, but the faithful or the faithful are the wounds of a friend, because a brother, a true brother, is gonna keep you, you know, in line. He's gonna correct you and be harsh on you whenever you're getting out of line. You know, if you're if you're fucking up, they they're on your ass, and that's that's faithful, man. That's for the uh, um. Uh, betterment of, of yourself for your own well-being they're holding you to a higher standard you know um i'm going to jump down to verse uh 17 it says iron sharpeneth iron so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend you know uh just like sparring partners whenever they fight you know these ufc champions hey the the closest bonds that they have you know are are on their team and they beat the shit out of each other you know <laughs> Uh, sparring each other, you know, and that's that's uh, how they get better at fighting, you know, they they show their their sparring partner, you know, their weaknesses so that they can, you know, train those up. Um, but yeah, that, that's also how we are in the spirit. Hey, if we see you lacking in, in a particular area, hey, we'll work with you on that, you know, we'll work on that, you know, we'll, we'll edify you know, charity edify, you know, and, um, you know, just holding, uh, holding you, holding your brother to a higher standard, that's all it is, and there's a certain way to do it, because you can't be a hypocrite, you know, you also have to hold yourself to a higher standard, <laughs> and be humble enough to, uh, let brothers hold you to a higher standard, you know, you gotta humble yourself enough to, to be able to receive, 
you know, rebuke and, and, you know, edification. You can't be proud and think that you know it all, you know? Um, but yeah, cha uh, charity edified, uh, 1 Corinthians. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, 1 Corinthians 8 and 1. It says, now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. So that's one thing you gotta, you gotta be mindful of whenever uh, you know you're learning scriptures, you're learning breakdowns, you're learning, you're growing in the spirit. You know, you know prophecies, but hey, you still, you know, it puffs you up, man. You get that, you might get that pride demon, and nobody can tell you nothing. You know, but hey, you gotta be humble still. All right. It says, but charity edifieth, you know. Uh, it says, and if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. You know, so it, hey, you can know all the prophecies, breakdowns, every precept, scripture, but hey, if you don't know how to be uh, humble and, 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 you know, merciful and, and willing to, to, you know, still be taught something, then you don't really know nothing at all. Um and that, that goes into being able, uh, uh, being, being um, you know, ha having a certain, being teachable, you know, being coachable, <laughs> you know, being willing to uh, listen to advice, basically. Um, uh, let's see. And then like, uh, like I was saying earlier, hey, you, you have to, you have to hold yourself to a higher standard, all right? If, if you want to, you know, be a keeper of your brother, <laughs> you have to keep yourself, too. You know, you got to watch out for yourself. You can't just, you know, let yourself go, so to speak, you know? You got to keep yourself in order. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 1. It says, Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye uh, meet, it shall be measured to you again. You know? So if you're, <laughs> if you're wanting to check a brother on something, if you see that, you know, he, he's, you know, has a problem or something, hey, you got to check and see, hey, <laughs> you might be the influence of that. You might be the one that he got that idea to do that from. So check yourself before you know, you check others, and then once you, you know, hold yourself to a higher standard, you know, your brothers around you are gonna, <laughs> you know, they're gonna realize that they might just, uh, 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 you know, follow you because you set an example, you know, and it may not even have to come in the form of, uh, you know, <laughs> verbal rebuke and, and confrontational like that, just lead by example, you know, um, but yeah, just don't, don't be a hypocrite. That's basically what this scripture is saying, you know, judge not unless you, you be judged in the same way, you know, so if you're about to, you know, unleash that judgment, hey, you got to make sure that yourself is right. And I'm keep reading verse three, it says, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye. And, uh, you know, a moat is smaller than a beam. You know, a moat is just like a, a splinter. And a beam is like, you know, a log. <laughs> um, and it says, or, will, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. So it's, you know, just not being a hypocrite. You can't, you can't, uh, um, get mad at someone for having a problem when you're, when you have the same problem <laughs> and, and, or maybe even a bigger problem, you know, cause, uh, you know, that blame game, you know, uh, uh, um, you just want to cast off the attention from yourself and blame others. No, man. Hey, swallow your pride. Get better. Just work on, work on yourself, man. 
and let be willing to to, to let brothers hey <laughs> hey you need to work on this you need to work on this and accept it and move get it get on it man it's that simple but um but yeah part a part of uh 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 being your brother's keep, keeper is uh, feeding the sheep. Feed my sheep. And how do we do that? By, you know, preaching this word. This is John 21 and 15. It says, So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. And he saith to him again, The second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, feed my sheep, you know, and then it goes into, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hey man, because, hey, our brothers are also uh, Yahweh Shai's brothers, so this is a, a big responsibility, you know, being, uh, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you might play junior varsity, you know, football, basketball, or what have you. But, hey, when, once you get varsity, hey, it's a little bit more serious, you know? So when you're, you're around, like, hey, you know, the elect, so to speak, you know, the hopeful elect, hey, you got a big responsibility to do. You know, we're, we have this word. We're given this word to, to be our brother's keepers. You know, wake up the hopeful elect. You know, practice righteous judgment, you know, holding ourselves to that higher standard and, hey, get, you know, feeding the sheep, you know? Because they, they need this, man. This is the that that uh, uh you know that living water that's gonna lead our brothers to salvation. You know, get them get them crowned by Yahweh Shai. You know, <laughs> you know, inheriting the earth. You know, and you should want your brothers to be on that that same status. <laughs> and but there's a price to pay that, that to to obtain that status, right? And we just gotta hold each other to that that. Uh, higher, higher, um, I said the word so many times and I just drew a blank on what I've been saying, uh, higher, having accountability, <laughs> you know, being accountable, holding them to that, uh, damn, yeah, just drew a blank on that word, um, Yeah, that's crazy. Said it, said it so many times, but drew a blank on that word. Um, that's gonna bug me. Uh, but hey, man, I, I think I've made the point. You know, just being your brother's keeper, hold, holding each other accountable, so that we can <laughs> obtain salvation ultimately. You know, getting getting out of here, man. Because these these are uh, <laughs> this is what what's gonna uh, get us out of here. Is this word? Let me grab uh, Judges. Let's go to Judges, the first chapter. Judges 1 and. Might be Joshua. Yeah, it's Joshua. It's lucky. This is Joshua 1, and I'll start at 13. It says, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord, your power, you know, Yahweh, your, your God, uh, hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan, that you shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and uh, help them. 
No, this is more of one. It's definitely in this chapter, though. Uh, yep, there it is. Joshua 1 and 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt... Uh, standard, that is the word. This this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Yeah, and this book of the law is that higher standard that we hold each other uh, up to, you know? Because every other standard, <laughs> you know, it's vain, man. This 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 standard was set by Yahweh Shem El Shai. That's why we hold each other up to this the highest standard, man. This is the highest standard. You know, practicing these law, statutes, and commandments. You know, fearing Yahweh Shem El Shai. <laughs> All right. It says, "For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success." You know, staying in these scriptures, you know, keeping your brothers in these scriptures, you know, constantly. That That's what makes our way prosperous and have good success. You know? Simple. So, yeah, we're, we're our brother's keeper, but I'm going to wrap it up. Once again, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakadash, Shalom.